Sisters and brothers, oh, we have, we now have a, a loudspeaker. I just want to quickly, because we're gonna, we're gonna march in a few. I want to just quickly turn over the mic to some of the family members, some of the parents here in New York City who have lost children to police terror and violence. I want to turn over the mic first to Mr. Frank Graham, Ramali Graham's father who has a very important message for all of you because that struggle is not over. No matter how much they try and deny this family, they have to keep and contain to organize and fight back. And it's important that we are out there and show solidarity when they take petitions to the DOJ on Wednesday. Mr. Graham. Yeah. Yeah. Even everyone. It is so sad that we keep doing this on a regular basis. Whether it's in New York, California, Missouri, or in Florida. We are not asking for nothing that is not right. We are asking for equal treatment under the law. Why is this thing happening? Well, it's only happening to black and brown people. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And I think the only person now could stop this, because it seems to be an epidemic, is the U.S. attorney. The Justice Department needs to take over all these cases of police killing. It has to stop. And I've been saying to a lot of my neighbors and friends, we're not mad enough. And what I mean by that, I'm not saying go out in the street and loot and burn or fight our own innocent people. But we must take our fight to the street. We must demand justice, because nothing will be given to us. We must demand justice. Yes. Our kids have been slaughtered in the street for no reason, and in my son's case, in his home, in front of his grandmother and his six-year-old brother. The cop was indicted, but was released on a technicality in the Bronx court. No thanks to D.A. Johnson. You are a part of this problem, and we need to get you removed from office too. Tomorrow at 12 noon, my family will be here in Foley Square delivering the petition to the Justice Department demanding that they bring the case to the grand jury. And we need the whole community. We need the city. Enough is enough. The cop that shot Mr. Garner waved to the camera. Why would he wave? Because he's sure nothing would happen. I wasn't the only one who saw that. I'm quite sure many of you saw that. When they murdered my son, couples in the backyard laughing and high-fiving. Because a lot of you haven't seen the whole tape, but I promise you, you will see the whole entire tape very soon. The new mayor said to me when we met in Sharpton office, it's a terrible thing. Well, Mr. Mayor, it happened under your watch with Eric Garner. It is more than terrible. The new commissioner, you are now responsible for everything that has happened before you and after you, because you are in control. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Weed out the bad actors out of your department. You are responsible for them now. It is now your problem. You need to do the right thing. We need justice for the past and for all who are waiting for justice right now, including my son and Eric Garner. We need justice for them. And we need to fight. We need not to sit down and act as if it can happen to us, because it will. It will happen to us. Any one of us here could be the next victim. Any one of us, black and brown, could be the next victim. And if you, the Caucasian who is hanging with us, are demanding justice with, with us, it could happen to you. Because they are reckless police officers in the NYPD. Not all cops are bad. Not all of them are bad. But then when they see their comrade do something, they don't say nothing. So how are we to know who is bad from who is good? How are we 
you know. You say, and you have sign all over this city. If you say something, if you see something, say something. Well, that goes for you too. If you see something, say something. Enough is enough. We need this to stop. We are only human beings. We are not second class people. We are human beings. I won't even use the phrase, you treat us worse than you treat animals, because everyone knows that by this. We need justice for our loved one. It's time to put a stop to the police killing, beating, police murder. We need to stop. We need to get behind the people who are saying enough is enough and demand an end to this police terrorism. Thank you. Thank you.